Now, a Team 4 reports exclusive investigation that's going to make you think twice about parking your car. It also might make you kind of mad when you see what we caught on undercover video. Investigator Anna Garcia live in Hollywood tonight with the tow truck pirates. Anna. Paul, some of these tow truck operators are really acting like modern day pirates. They take your car, they charge you whatever they want, and there's little you can do about it because the industry has been deregulated. 10 o'clock at night, anywhere in the city, and tow trucks are roaming, looking for someone to tow. Favorite targets, according to police, strip malls and fast food parking lots. My car was gone. It happened to Paxton Miller at this Baskin Robbins in Van Nuys. Got the ice cream, put it in my car, walked across the street. Tops 15 minutes. And Selena Fanara on Beverly Boulevard. It's a shakedown. All I could do is give them the money and hope that they give me my car back. Both say it happened so fast they believe someone must have been waiting and watching. Trolling for victims like a shark. Everybody's getting paid. This tow yard insider who's afraid to show his face says some locations have several scouts getting paid for each car they call in. Ballot guys, security guards, they're getting paid between $25 and $40 per car. So we began watching with hidden cameras. I parked at the same Baskin Robbins in Van Nuys, bought ice cream, and walked to the corner to watch my car. The car next to me gets towed by ACT, the same company that Miller says towed him. Five minutes later, they're back for mine. Hey, what are you doing? I went to Baskin Robbins. I have my receipt. Finally, they give it back without charging me. This is a receipt. Miller wasn't as lucky. His car was impounded. He said, I don't care. You weren't there, and we have your car. If you want it, you'll give us $252.50 cash. Next stop, Hollywood, to this parking lot at Fountain and Vine where there's an El Pollo Loco. While I'm inside eating, before the restaurant is even closed, our camera spot this tow truck driver looking around. Hey, where are you going? That's my car. Okay. Uh, I was in there until closing. Until closing? Yeah. What time did they close? They close at 11. What, what time is it now? I went for a it's walk. 15. It's 11.15. My receipt and persistence got me off the hook again. We want to talk to someone. After two trips to Safety Towing's office downtown. We got towed from Pollo Loco in Hollywood. They agreed. I shouldn't have been towed. It was a mistake. We make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. It was a human error. He says he was instructed by a security guard we didn't see to take my car. They choose them for us. They tell us this is the car that needs to be towed. Could we please talk to the owner? No apologies at ACT Towing. I want to talk to you about why I got towed from the Baskin Robbins. A few minutes later, a man claiming to be the general manager of ACT Towing looked at our video and laughed. <laughs> You were not coming from Baskin Robbins. You're on video show, so what are you talking about? You're coming from across the street. You I were... watched as the tow truck came. I uh, was standing right there. You were not, you were, okay. It's absolutely outrageous. L.A. Councilman Dennis Zine. We need to change that federal regulation that has created this bandit industry of vulture tow truck operators. It's a scam. They're just taking people's money. Well, you're looking right now live at the sign. It says safety towing. Well, the city attorney has filed a 23-count criminal complaint against that tow company. That is the same company that towed me out of this parking lot. The charges include attempted extortion. Now, Pollo Loco and Baskin Robbins say they are outraged. They say their customers ought to be able to dine in peace without worrying that their cars will be towed while they're eating. That's the latest from Hollywood. Anna Garcia, Channel 4 News. Tonight, a follow-up on a Channel 4 News investigation. 35 drivers who had their cars illegally towed are finally going to be getting their money back as part of a criminal conviction today. City prosecutors went after the owner of the tow truck company with a criminal complaint after Channel 4's Anna Garcia's undercover investigation exposed the tow truck pirates. Here is what she found. Our cameras captured the not-so-nice side of safety and global towing, which not only towed me from this Pollo Loco in Hollywood where I was eating... Hey, where are you going? That's my car! They also towed this 16-year-old pickup truck from the parking lot of Emmanuel Presbyterian Church in Koreatown. The truck, which is registered to the church and used to deliver food to the needy, was taken from the church in the middle of the night. It was stolen and being held for ransom. And when they tried to get it back, safety said it would cost... $1,500 in impound fees. You're telling me that I have to pay you money in order to get... Shut it up for a minute. Okay. You don't have to be rude to him. 
While there's no law against rudeness, there are when it comes to predatory towing, like written authorization from the parking lot owner. Today, 33-year-old Herberto Barrios, seen here on the left, was convicted of 10 criminal charges, including attempted extortion. His sentence, jail or community service, plus 36 months probation and $15,000 restitution to 35 tow victims, including the church. Garcia, Channel 4 News. If you've been following our exclusive undercover investigations into tow truck operators who prey on drivers, you know our reports have led to several changes, including new federal legislation, which President Bush is expected to sign into law. Meantime, L.A. police are using undercover sting operations to help keep local tow companies in check. Uh, I can't give no comment. Anybody who's been watching CNBC knows that we have a big problem in the Southland with predatory towing. Which is why Congressman Chris Cox and Jim Moran pushed through an amendment to require authorization before a tow. Channel 4 does deserve credit for this amendment being passed. Prosecutors have not filed charges against the two men arrested. President Bush is expected to sign that bill as early as next week, and we will be there to cover it. A new multi-billion dollar transportation bill aimed at improving our roads and traffic congestion got the signature of President Bush today. That bill also cracks down on the problem of illegal towing of cars. Channel 4's Anna Garcia in Montgomery, Illinois has the details. President Bush flew to the cornfields of Montgomery, Illinois today to sign the transportation bill at Caterpillar, a maker of road equipment, a company sure to benefit from the $286 billion in federal dollars for highway projects. The Transportation Act will finance needed road improvements and will ease traffic congestion in communities all across this country. $23 billion goes to California for things such as a new carpool lane on the 405 between the west side and the valley. It's more than just a highway bill. It's a safety bill. Among the safety issues in the bill, the growing problem of predatory towing in a series of undercover reports. Hey, where are you going? That's my car. We exposed how some tow operators watch and wait for you to leave your car, hook it up, and then charge as much as $200 to get it back. Emmanuel Presbyterian Church had its pickup truck illegally towed from the church. They refused to pay and pressured politicians to change the law. I feel very proud of the fact that this church uh, has been involved in that process. California lawmakers Chris Cox and Diane Feinstein say they wrote this section of the bill to crack down on illegal towing. Unfortunately, the law came too late for 42-year-old Leoncio Flores, who was unloading groceries at his Santa Ana apartment last June, when police say he was run over by a tow truck as he pleaded for his car. He stepped up to the car window and the guy guns the vehicle, and the rear tire of the tow truck hits my guy and drags him under. The father of five was killed instantly. His family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Pepe's towing. Killed by a tow truck driver who was so greedy. The Orange County District Attorney's Office says it's considering filing criminal charges. Pepe's did not return our calls. The new federal law may have helped Flores because it now gives states the authority to require written authorization before a tow. Because of towing abuses in California, Senator Dianne Feinstein has included a study in the transportation bill that will examine what else can be done to protect drivers from predatory towing. In Montgomery, Illinois, Anna Garcia, Channel 4 News.